I was 16 years old. Living in Osaka, Japan, it was 2005, and I was playing Snake Eater, the third installment of the Metal Gear Solid series. Set during the Wild West of Spies, known as the Cold War, infiltrating the jungles of Russia. Yes, don't think of that too much. Taking down boss after boss, hearing villain monologue after villain monologue, very Metal Gear Solid. And then, I got to the end, and it was only the beginning. He's known as the father of sniping, and in order to beat him, you have to take part in a grueling waiting game known as a sniper's duel. And 99% of it was patience. And in the process of that, I started thinking things. Not smart things, just things that a person with too much time on their hands would think. I guess like any sniper in combat throughout history would. I wondered, who is this hunter who I was hunting? Who was the old guy with the parrot? This sharpshooter of the Cobra units? And more importantly, who was I to him? I was his last target. In order for him to die, I had to die. I was a means to an end. And he, of course, was a means to my entertainment. And it's telling, because in order to defeat this sniper, I had to become him, mirroring his moves, anticipating his next location. It was like a game of cat and cat. This felt like a real challenge. I know AI has improved over the decades, but this was something else. But it felt much deeper. Almost like we symbolized something more than just two warriors trying to end each other. We were two sides of the same coin. Young and old, USA and USSR, capitalist West and communist East, victory and defeat, everything and nothing to live for, the goddess and the oblivion. It became, it became intense. intense. I couldn't beat him. It was stalemate, so I called it a day, and I wasn't interested in playing it anymore. I got on with my life, and trying to figure out what kind of life I wanted it to be. Later, I would marry, get a job, the checklist of the mundane life. I forgot about most of the game. I forgot about the pain, the fury, but I couldn't forget about the end. Was he still waiting for me, even when I switched the game off? Three years later, I revisited Snake Eater. I loaded up the game and I found the end dead of old age. He was just lying there. In the end, my actions had no result in him. But his actions had a result in me. Then I noticed the frog. <laughs>